Hello coders, this is Jared with Renaissance Coders and today we are going to cover cloning repositories using terminal applications, checking on changes using terminal applications, creating commits using terminal applications, and pushing commits using terminal applications. Now I have previously covered git management with both the github desktop application and the source tree application, but today we are going to dive into my favorite method of managing git repositories using terminal applications. Now in the previous tutorials I created repositories on both github and bitbucket, so I'm going to show you how to again clone, add new files files, check on the updates, commit the changes, and push our commits to those two initially created repositories. So if you haven't watched those videos on how to create those repositories on GitHub and Bitbucket, you may want to go and watch those now. Okay, before I get started, I should point out that I am using iTerm2 and not the standard Mac terminal application. Also, I am using the terminology of uh, terminal interchangeably with command line. So on a Windows machine you would have to use the command line application. Okay, let's get started. Alright, so as you can see here I'm already on GitHub and all I really need to do here is click on my Git tutorial repository and now I just need to click on this clone or download button. And what this is going to do is actually give us a link that we can now copy. So I'm going to actually click on this copy to clipboard button. It tells me it was copied. And now inside of my terminal application, I can clone the repository. It's important to note that I am inside of my development folder. And if you're not inside of that development folder, then you need to find that development folder using your terminal application. I will go through some steps for finding repositories a little bit, or finding directories a little later. But first, let's go ahead and clone a repository. In order to do that, we're going to write git clone, and then we can just, whoops, I copied the other one. Copy this again, and paste. So again, that's git clone, and then the link. Press enter. Now we can see that it is cloning into git tutorial. So that is going to be our directory name. Now if I just enter ls, and let's see if we can find it here, git tutorial. Okay, so let's go ahead and cd or change directory into git. And if you press the tab key, it'll automatically fill for you. Press enter, and now we are inside of the git tutorial. So if I press ls again, it's gonna show us the file that we already have in there. I can press clear or enter clear, and it's going to erase everything I've already done. So what I'm going to do now is open up Sublime Text again, and I'm just going to create a new file, and I'm just going to say this is a terminal test, and I'm going to save it, and I'm going to actually save this as terminal test dot text, and save it. Now if I go back to my terminal application, I can do an ls and it's going to show us the two files that are within this directory. Now another thing I can do is do a git status and that's going to show us which branch we're on. It's going to make sure that our branch is actually up to date with the master branch which is the branch we're on and it's going to show us the untracked files for this branch which is the file that I just added okay now we need to actually add that file to a commit first so what I'm gonna do is do a git add and then you can just write out the files name and press enter okay now if I do a git status you can see that this file has changed from an untracked file to a change to be committed so now what I need to do is actually create my commit. In order to do that, I'm just going to write out git commit dash m, which stands for message. And then in quotes, I'm going to write adding in another test file. Close my quotes, press enter. Now if I do a git status, we can see that my branch is ahead of origin master by one commit. 
Okay, so now all we have to do is push our commit to our remote repository. And in order to do that, we only have we just have to do a git push. Now, when I run this command, I'm going to have an error pop up. And that's because I have multiple git users for GitHub on this computer. So if I press enter, sure enough, I get denied access to that repository. So let's just go through a quick fix if you do run into this issue. Open up your keychain access for Mac and go to GitHub. And now we're just going to delete the ones we don't need. Okay, quick keychain access, and now let's try it again. Git push. And let's do our username and our password. All right, and it's going to show us that it has now pushed to our remote repository. But again, if you don't have other Git users on your local machine, then you won't run into this issue, and Git push will just work for you. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is actually go through this process for Bitbucket. So let's cd dot dot forward slash, which is going to take us up a directory. So we should be back in our development directory now. And now we're going to go to Bitbucket. And we're going to click on our repository here. And in order to clone our repository, we just click up here, copy it, and then go back to our terminal application. And now we're going to run git clone again, enter in our copied URL, and press enter. Okay, so this one's actually asking us for the password right now, so we're going to enter in our password again. Again, this is the Bitbucket password, and press enter. And now it is showing that it has pulled down, so we're going to go ahead and cd into our repository, or new directory, which will be Bitbucket Tutorial, press enter, ls. And now you can see that our file is in fact here. So again, I'm going to go ahead and open up Sublime Text. I'm going to create a new file and say this is a bit bucket terminal test. And I'm going to save this and I'm just going to call it bit bucket terminal dot text. And make sure you change where you're saving this to your new directory and save it go back to your terminal application. Now what I'm actually going to go ahead and do is enter in a clear again so we just have a nice clean working space. And I'm going to do a git status. And of course this is going to again just show me the branch we're on. Shows that we're up to date and we have new untracked files. So I'm just going to do a git add and this time I'm just going to enter a dot here. So that's basically like a git add all. Press enter. Now if I do git status again, it's going to again show us that these changes are ready to be committed. So we just have to do a git commit-m and adding in new test file. Press enter. Git status. And you don't have to do git status this many times. I'm just trying to show you um, that everything is moving like we want it to here. So now we can go ahead and do a git push because it is saying that our branch is ahead. So we're just going to now do a git push. And there it goes. Now it is going up to master on the remote repository. So let's go ahead and check both Bitbucket here. So let's refresh this page. And now we can see that, in fact, we do have a new file on our Bitbucket remote repository. And if we go back to our GitHub and refresh, we can see that this one was added as well. And that should do it. Again, this was just a really quick, brief introduction into using the terminal or the command line applications in order to manage your Git repositories. We will be diving more into using the specific applications as well as terminal and what some of these commands really mean in Git in later tutorials. But that is going to do it for this tutorial. As always, thanks for watching. Drop us a like and be sure to subscribe.